Alright, this is going to be a slightly different video than normal. I already did MOC 10, but one thing I was looking at is I didn't really notice how useful Trailblazer is in the Argenti fight. So I kind of just wanted to make a video kind of showcasing physical Trailblazer here. Because I feel like a lot of times she doesn't get the time to shine. And I feel like it was kind of a shame that I didn't showcase her in probably one of her better stages. So that's why I'm doing this video. Anyways, I didn't do the first half just because I feel like it would consume a lot of the runtime. And I'm going to finish this within six cycles. So as long as you watch the first video, which I'll link in the description, you can check out the first half if you're struggling with it. And it will be compatible because it will correlate with the amount of cycles remaining to get 20 cycle clear time for a three star clear. Anyways, I will use a cleave here. For the main part, I want to deal with this guy, and using Trailblazer's Cleave just accomplishes that. The Ice Minion, I don't know if I mentioned it as much in the first video, but it's a very annoying minion. If it hits your DPS, it can cost you an entire cycle, so I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible, because it does delay the actions of whoever it hits. Okay. I'll actually save the weakness break for Trailblazer. Trailblazer has my highest break effect, so I do want her to typically weakness break the enemies when she can. I won't go super out of the way, like if she's last in the turn order and um, the enemy boss moves two times before she ever moves, I will weakness break them, obviously. I'm not gonna avoid attacking the boss just for those reasons. But I do ideally just want her to weakness break when she can because she will be doing the most damage with her break effect. And I am running the dance light cone on Tingyun here because I don't have the boots on my trailblazer just because her current boots are just really, really strong. So she's a little stationary and having the dance light cone on Tingyun is really great because it means she can actually move. Shucks. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to single target this thing. Its health is just so much higher than everything else at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that leftmost minion will die as soon as I weakness break it. I'll probably just have Natasha weakness break the left minion, unless I can get Trailblazer hit here. Okay, Trailblazer can have her time to shine. There we go. And there. Not a bad fight. It's just going to be a single target and a summon this turn, so it's not super scary. Though he did hit my lowest unit, who has 10 stacks of burn on her, so I guess I can use Natasha's cleanse. Like, jeez. Mm, we have a lot of skill points, so I'll just use this into this. We'll cleanse Trailblazer just so she doesn't die. That's a little annoying. Okay, I'll just do this to weakness break those. Dachi's flanking the boss, and then we can pretty much deal with them through her cleave. That's the scariest attack the boss does. It'll use it on turn 2 in its first 3 turn attack cycle, then turn 3 in its second 3 turn attack cycle, so you do have to be careful with it. Uh, the sphere tip will hit a little hard. But since it's enhanced, it's actually worth killing now. Kill laser's alt energy is a little higher than I'd like it to be. This, we can kill spear tip. That'll do a little bit of extra damage to the boss to kind of make up for not using a single target on it. And I'll use Palo's alt, and this will put the boss in weakness break range for Trailblazer. And I'll actually break the boss and then use my ult. 
Because Sheriff Blizzard does get 25% crit rate against weakness broken enemies. And I'll be honest, my Trailblazer's crit rate isn't that high. I think it's at like 60% or something. Yeah, 60%. Okay, so Argenti is looking pretty low. If it comes down to it, we can just have Trailblazer use a single target attack on the boss to finish him off. If we can get her alt up. Ah, jeez. Might as well heal. Uh, Pella should get her alt from the Memory of Chaos buff here, so I can use it safely. Mm, might as well basic attack for now. Basic attack. Oh, come on. Jeez. Okay, I'll use the AoE here, because why not? And I'll guess a little bit more energy. The boss doesn't do any attacks with this one, so it's a little safer. But he did buff the spear tip, which is a very, very scary minion to be buffed. So we're going to be taking a lot of damage this turn. Okay, I will buff up Trailblazer. At least they don't move till the next cycle, so we're kind of safe in that regard. When we use our AoE here, we should probably kill the leftmost one, or at least bring it close enough where it'll die to weakness break, so that we can kind of deal with the spear tip with our next set of actions. I'll also just preemptively lower its toughness bar. Anyways, this is going to be an AoE attack, and then combined with all the spear tip statues moves, which is two giant AoE attacks, especially when they're buffed, it can be a lot of damage, so you do have to be careful of this one turn. Sinks mm. hanging on more than I would like it to. There we go. Anyways, I'll get Trailblazer's alt up here. With this we can actually deal with the spear tip since it's within weakness breaking range. And we already lowers its toughness bar with Natasha. There we go. Easy. And then we get extra damage on the boss, so we can just focus him for a bit. I'll buff up Trailblazer. And with the boss isolated, we can pretty safely use a single target on him. A little scary, but we're good. On well, his next turn, he's just going to summon some minions, so it's not going to be a huge bunch of damage, so we can heal. Okay, and if we can get Tingyan's ult here, we should be able to get a Trailblazer ult, especially when Argenti uses an AoE attack on us. And let's lower some toughness bars. So yeah, when Trailblazer gets her next action, she should be able to weakness break and kill the boss. And that will just be the end of the fight. Oh, she also gets a normal action before the end. Okay, not bad. So yeah, we will finish with four cycles remaining. And for the original video, I did finish that with four cycles in the first fight. So you can watch the original video if you're struggling with the first fight and want to see how to do it with a 4 star team. I will now show off the unit stats and that will be the end of this video with Trailblazer showcased in the Argenti Memory of Chaos 10 fight. So I am running a physical Trailblazer here with a fully limit broken on the fall of the Eon Light Cone. I haven't maxed out her traces but I did max out her alt, um, her passive. You know, you can upgrade it, but I also recommend getting the attack boost before that because it's 1% per level. On the relics, I am running her with an experimental relic set. This is going to be going to Shui as soon as her banner drops, but it works pretty well on Trailblazer because she does get some extra energy upon weakness breaking enemies. And of course, max limit broken.
All right, and yeah, that is the end of the video. Again, if you're struggling with the first half of the fight, you can check out my last video. I will link it in the description, and it does have a team that did it within four cycles, so it is compatible with this Trailblazer team that I ran right here. Anyways, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Probably going to be version 1.6, unless I can find something else to do in the remaining of 1.5.